When debugging in VS Code, you can use the debug view or just hover over a variable to see its current value. If I want to inspect the person object, for instance, I can just hover over the word person here, and now we can see all of the properties on the person object. Now, these first properties here, so we have first name, that's looking pretty normal, and then we have last name that also looks pretty normal, just string values, but the full name property here looks a little bit strange, so that's not exactly what we'd expect. We have this I icon and then the actual implementation of the full name property here. Now, this is a lazy property, so we can tell that by the little I icon over here, and you can see if we look back at the program, full name is actually being implemented using a getter. Different programming languages have different ways of expressing this, but in VS Code, these type of lazy properties will actually show up with this little I icon and then some sort of preview of what the getter might actually do. If we actually want to see the real value of first name, all we have to do is click on the little I icon here, which is going to expand it. So I'll say expand here, and now you can see that we have the actual values for full name, uh, which is being computed using the getter. The same also works in the debug view and in the debug console. So if I go down here, let's just restart debugging. I'll open up the debug console here. And if I wanted to see the value of person, I can just type in person down here and it'll go and show me the values. I can expand this a little bit so we can see better. I have the same view I had before. And if I want to expand one of the lazy variables, I can just click on the little eye icon and it's going to tell me the value here. Now you might be wondering, why doesn't VS Code do that by default? And that is because getters could actually be stateful. So they could either be depending on something that uh, when you call it, it might have a different value or it could even modify the underlying object. So to take a look at that, uh, let's just go and modify the full name getter here to actually set the first name, which is probably not something that you want to do, but this does happen kind of surprisingly often in real code. Uh, not exactly like this, but it's usually a little more hidden. Now, if we start, let's go and restart debugging here. If we go and hover over person again, we can see all of the values here. If I then click on full name, it's going to expand it and we'll see Jane Doe. If I then hover over person again to see the values in the current state of the program, you can see that just by expanding the variable here, so in our debug view, we've actually modified the value of first name, which is probably not what we want. You really typically don't want your debugger when you're just inspecting things to actually go and have a uh, effect where it's going to modify the value of your current program. So that is why VS Code does not do that automatically. Um, it still does let you see the value if you wanted to by clicking that little expand icon. Um, but it could potentially be dangerous if you've written your, your getters and other lazy variables in a stateful way. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you're pretty confident that your code is not stateful like this, so let's actually go and revert that change, uh, you can make VS Code do this automatically. So let's go back here and I'm gonna stop debugging again. Now let's open up the settings using control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm gonna search debug expand. And I want the debug auto expand lazy variables option here. Now, when we turn on this option, and it's off by default, uh, if we turn it on, VS Code is now just going to automatically try to expand these lazy variables. So it's going to automatically evaluate getters to tell us what those values are. If I press uh, debug again, so it started debugging my program. Now, when I hover over person, notice how full name has automatically been evaluated. So it is behind the scenes, actually run the getter to determine the value here. Done that all for us automatically. We didn't have to click on that little expand icon. Again, this would not be safe if the getter actually was stateful in some way or modified the underlying object because this would go and run the getter and it would go and change our program in some way. So you might not wanna turn this on if your getters are stateful like that, but very convenient option if you're writing code that is not stateful. So that's a quick look at working with lazy values while debugging in VS Code. Different languages will support these in different ways. So for JavaScript and TypeScript, you'll see lazy values for getters and that type of thing. Other languages might show them for things that are being lazily evaluated. If your debugger supports them though, you'll see a little eye icon for any lazy values. And then you can turn on that option to have this all happen automatically as well, which can save some time.